Yo, what's going on, FBL Nation? It's your boy back in on a new video. I hope you guys enjoyed. The last game of the weekend has just been played. Liverpool versus Crystal Palace. So your boy wants to go through my team of the weekend. All the bonus points are ready, up and going. Um, we didn't have the best week this week, so it is what it is. Quick, simple video. Let's get straight into it anyway. So first, I want to touch on the team of the week. And the player of the week was Mr. Jesus with 19 points. Amazing game from him. Um, and basically, let's yeah, run through the team of the week. So we had... Saar, a goalkeeper with 15 points. Amazing game from him. Me and Veltman with 14 and 8 for both those boys. Nothing really to look at there with those two guys. Probably just a really up week for one of them. Cancelo with 11 points. These are more the premium player that we look at. So he has been playing really, really well the last couple of weeks. Uh, definitely in that Man City sort of rotation of him pushing up on that edge and really becoming a center mid role um, and playing really, really good footy. So um, great to see him with another 11 points. Definitely a player I'm looking at maybe trading in. So we'll have to see. Rodrigo Jensen uh, with 15 and 14. Great games from those two boys. Uh, Xhaka and Hoiberg, 12 and 10. But the player we look at here is De Bruyne with 14. Uh, great game from De Bruyne. Um, really, really good game for Man City overall. And the player that didn't, you know, kick on, Mr. Harlan, but we'll get into that in my, my team list. Jesus with 19 points. Been amazing for Arsenal. Um, well, you know, first game didn't kick on as much as he can, but you saw how good he is. And through preseason, you saw how, saw that either way. Um, had a really nice goal on this one, a little chip shot into the top corner. Loved it. So great game from him. Watkins with 11 points. Um, really good game for Aston Villa there. So um, great game from Watkins. So running through my team. So we got 55 points, just above average. Not the best week overall. Last week, you we got 71. So it's really just growing into this game. So it is what it is. Uh, we take a hit this week, but you know what? We'll be back next week. So going into my team list, we had Edison with six points. Not too bad game from him. I uh, thought Man City had a really nice game. So um, getting a clean sheet, that's all I want from him. Zinchenko with one point, it is what it is. Like, you know, I see the potential in him and especially with Arsenal dropping two goals in that one, it is what it is. Like he's going to really kick on and become a really good player. Perisic with the four points, really, really nice game from him. Um, I've been enjoying his game lately and he is going to kick on to a really nice player there. Plays more of a center mid role for Tottenham, even though listed as a back. So another player like a Zinchenko, that's very... Uh, runs everywhere, um, creates a lot of opportunities. Uh, more so Zinchenko, I see that out of him a lot more. Um, but, you know, it's good to see Perisic there. I'm going to keep him there in my squad. The two talking points we got here, so Alexander-Arnold with three points. Decent game, he got a bonus point, so that's really nice from him. Robertson with two points. So this is the one I was looking at maybe chaining for Ch uh, Cancelo. But with um, Liverpool playing Man, C uh, Man United this week, it may not happen this week. So I am a player that's very like, I'll watch for a couple of weeks and see how we go and then move in. I'm not going to freak out over one or two game weeks. So uh, Robertson, obviously not having the best two first two game weeks with a one point to start with and a two point. And then you see Cancelo getting like, I think he had a nine last week and then he got 11 this week. So it gives you an itchy feet. But we're going to continue with Robertson maybe for one more week and then looking at like Cancelo. Uh, Koulibaly looks nice or a James, something like that. So that is the players I'm looking at personally. Comment down below your thoughts. In the midfield, we got Salah with uh, two points. You won't see this too much from him. Uh, he'll probably score a lot more next week against Man United. I'm excited for that. Maybe he will get the captain back. I'm pretty sure I put the captain back on him, definitely. Saka with two points. He will get more opportunities, Saka. I'm sure of it. Uh, Martinelli has been a big buy for everyone this week I've seen. Um, I'm definitely holding on Xhaka. Um, may, uh, Saka mainly because uh, Martinelli is playing really, really nice centre mid role like everywhere. But I have seen Saka do a lot more um, over the last couple of years than Martinelli. Martinelli has been amazing for us lately. But uh, Saka is that um, very attacking piece that we have on that other side that uh, gets a lot of opportunities that um, at the moment, he's not really finishing on, but you know, he will get better and better. Andreas with three points and Neto with three points. Not really much to talk about there. Both boys that are filling out the spot really nicely. Uh, Wolves not playing crazily and Fulham playing like pretty well at, actually to start with the season. Uh, Andreas is 75% chance of playing next week. Um, but, you know, I'm definitely keeping there. We got Bailey on the bench if we really need to. Harlan with the captain, obviously really disappointing. 10 points is not too great, but you know what I mean? Like, I wish I probably captained Jesus, but I wouldn't even thought of captaining Jesus even for the first couple of weeks with Arsenal. Like, you know, I love Arsenal to death, but, you know, I don't want us to get let down sometime and then me getting pissed off and that. So, um, Harlan, it is what it is. Uh, nice game from him. 
Um, he will get better and better. You would have thought out of a 4-0 slacking against uh, Bournemouth, uh, he would have scored like three goals and that. But no, it was end up De Bruyne and all those other boys that were scoring really nice goals. So that is what it is. And Neto is the one on our bench. No one else on the bench really to talk about other than Bailey with one point, I guess. But Neto with seven. Uh, shout out to Forrest getting your first game in the Premier League. They are playing really, really nice footy, pretty much, honestly. Um, and beating West Ham, I know it was like, the goal didn't look that crazy or at all, but uh, beating West Ham still is uh, is a great achievement from those guys. All right, so moving on to my league. So league with a couple of mates of mine, we're sitting at first. Uh, with the YouTube league, we're sitting third. Uh, BKR league, shout out BKR Sports. Uh, great guy there. Uh, we were in his league, beat him first week of that. Shout out to you, boy. Um, but, you know, he's a really good player as well, really good sports mind. So it's great to be in his league. We're sitting fifth. Uh, fourth in our head-to-head -head league, public league. Overall in Arsenal, we're 300, uh, in Arsenal fan base, we're 300,000. Uh, in Australia, we want to really knock this down. This is the one I want to knock down, uh, 53,000. Two mil on game week one, pretty good overall. And yeah, not really much else to talk about for the week of this coming up. So a couple of big fixtures coming up. We got obviously Liverpool versus Man United is the one I'm looking at. That's going to be a lot of boys going to play really well there. And yeah, really not much else to talk about, honestly, guys. So Hopefully we're improved next week. We'll see how we go, but um, we'll finish it on that on a high note. Thank you for all the support. Peace out.